Hi guys, The Metal Maniac back again, and uh, welcome to another music collection update. Uh, I've got a, uh, quite a few things to show you guys, so let's just get right into it. <clears throat> so, first up is the album The Final Damnation by the uh, black thrash band Abigail. Um, they're a pretty underrated black and thrash band from Japan. Um, even though they have only put out a couple of uh, full-length albums, they have a lot of like demos and EPs and stuff. Um, I would, I would probably consider them more of a demo slash EP band than, uh, than like, uh, 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 an album band. Yeah, sure, like I said, they put out a couple of full lengths, but, again, they, the, their main, their, uh, 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 main part of their discography is mostly full of, uh, uh, demos and EPs. Um, and some live albums as well, but, uh, Yeah. Really cool uh, black and thrash band from Japan. Um, also, it's very difficult to track down uh, basically anything from them. Like, there's some stuff that's uh, exclusive to uh, Japan, and then there's just other stuff which is just not very well distributed, so it's kind of hard to find a lot of their stuff. Anyway, but uh, <clears throat> this is their fifth album, and um, one of the easier things of their uh, uh, discography to actually get. Um, anyway... Next up is the album From Experiments to Extinction by the uh, thrash metal band Wreckage. Um, yeah, this band never uh, put out a full-length album. This, this band was very short-lived. I think they lasted from 86, 85 or 86 to around 1990. Um, and they only ever put out four albums, not, not albums, four demos, um... And uh, this is a compilation containing uh, those four demos. Also, those four demos were never re-released, and there was never an official compilation. Uh, this compilation is actually a bootleg, but it's a very well-made bootleg. I think the source, the audio from this, is actually from the official demos. Because uh, it sounds very, very, like, it sounds identical to the audio of the official demo. So I'm guessing, even though this is not officially released... Uh, the audio source is from the official releases of the four demos. Um, yeah, really cool band. Um, has some of the best, like, guitar riffs I've heard in, like, uh, 80s thrash metal, honestly. But, uh, yeah, this is something I really can't wait to uh, actually do a review on. Um, well, it'll probably be either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, hopefully, if I'm not too busy, but, um, yeah. <clears throat> All right, next up, these next three are probably the things I was most excited for. Um, first up is the demo uh, called The Demo of Doom by Savage Thrust. Savage Thrust is a very underrated, very short-lived uh, sort of uh, speed metal slash thrash metal band from the 80s. Um... Now, they did survive up until the early 90s. I think 1993, I believe. Uh, maybe maybe earlier than that, but uh, their last demo was in the early 90s. Um, they, uh, they released... This is their uh, debut demo, of course, Demo of Doom. Uh, they released a, um, a two-track EP, I think it was, and then like a full-length album, and then like two other demos, and then that's it. Um, but, uh, yeah, honestly, this band hasn't released a lot, didn't release a lot of good material. Honestly, this is really the only highlight of their entire short career, honestly. A lot of the other stuff is just very, uh, um, bland and samey sounding. But, uh, this is very good. This is not, like, full-on, like, um, speed metal like a lot of their other stuff. This is sort of, like, it's speed metal, it's 80s speed metal, but it also has a lot of that traditional heavy metal kind of style to it as well. Um, uh, yeah, it was actually kind of difficult trying to track down a copy of this, mainly because this demo was never re-released. Also, this is not a bootleg. This is 100% official. Um, it's in very good condition. Um, this is in the, uh, I believe the, the, uh, uh, the, uh, listing was, uh, very good plus on both the case, uh, the inner, inner insert and the, um, cassette. Honestly, although it it the cassette sounds more like a near mint because it doesn't have 
it's very pristine. Not well, I guess pristine sounding for an '80s underground demo. I guess not like pristine, like it sounds super clean and stuff like that. But pristine for again for an '80s underground thrash metal demo. Uh, there's no like uh, degradation to the audio that I can hear. Um, but uh, yeah. All right. Next up is uh, one of uh, one of the very early death demos, uh, "Reign of Terror." Um, this is actually, I believe, the second variation of it. Um, there is three or four different versions. Uh, there's an original version that just has a plain black cover with the uh, a logo and title. Uh, there's, um, another version, which I believe is the third version, which has, like, a blue black, some kind of, like, skeletal, like, creature on the cover, and then there's this version, which is the second version. Also, each version has a slightly different track listing. Uh, th uh, the first version is just the main track listing. The second version that I have here is the main track listing, and then side A. Uh, B has a bunch of uh, uh, bonus tracks, and then there's another, and then the other one I think has like a, an interview or like a, another bonus track or something, but uh, um, yeah, th this uh, demo, very hard to come by, um, also very underrated to be honest, um, pretty much anything uh, pre-Scream Bloody Gore uh, in Death's discography, uh, discography. Sorry, I can't talk today. Uh, uh, anything uh, from from us uh, before Scream Bloody Gore is pretty overlooked and underrated. Uh, there's a lot of demos that they did before Scream Bloody Gore that uh, uh, are really, really good, but don't get a lot of attention, mainly because a lot of that stuff was never re-released for some dumb reason. Um, but... Uh, yeah, just a very cool demo, and uh, again, with all of these things I have on here, I, I'm really excited to do reviews on them. I might not do a review of the of this next one coming up, because it's the same. It's an original copy of something that I have the re-release of, but I might do a comparison video of the original and the re-release. Anyway, but uh, yeah, uh, Reign of Terror. Definitely check it out if, if you're interested. Uh, it's very, uh, very underrated. All right. Lastly, the thing I was probably the most excited for is an original cassette copy of the Freezing Moon slash Carnage demo by Mayhem. Um, yeah, uh, again, I'm not going to do a review on this particular copy because I already did a review on the uh, vinyl re-release slash remaster, that 7-inch vinyl uh, that came out a few years ago. I don't remember exactly when, but um, anyway... Um, yeah, this is the original cassette copy that, uh, I think there was originally, like, I think 10 to 20 copies, I think. Um, but, uh, uh, over the time, I think there's only a couple actually left in existence. Uh, I think around, uh, half the amount of, the, uh, of an original, uh, of the original, uh, set. Um, but, uh, yeah, really cool. Finally able to track one of these down. It was pretty expensive, but honestly, it was worth it. Um, now, uh, even though there's the, uh, main track listing is just on, um, the, uh, oh, where's the track listing? Oh, there it is. The main track listing, oh, no, there we go. The main track listing is only on side A. Side B does have tracks on it, but it's actually uh, something completely different. It's actually a preview. Side B contains a preview of the then uh, uh, unreleased Live in Leipzig album. Uh, yeah, this came out shortly before that. Like I, I don't know, was it? It was like two year, two or three years before it. I think. Um, originally Live in Leipzig was actually released on cassette and not even called Live in Leipzig. I think it was actually a, uh, a, a fan club exclusive called Only Death is Real Live. Um, and that was released, I think, in 91. Uh, I think shortly before or after Dead Suicide, I think. It was either bef shortly before or shortly after that. But, uh, the, uh, first version of, uh, Live in Leipzig that came out that was called Live in Leipzig, came out in 93. Um, 
And uh, that one didn't even have the iconic cover of Dead holding the candelabra in, in like the pitch blackness. Uh, it had uh, it was just basically a black background with the purple logo and Live in Leipzig on it. Um, but uh, yeah, um, really cool. Uh, I love I love when bands put like previews of their upcoming projects, and I think that's a lost thing. Bands don't you don't really do that anymore, unfortunately. But I like how uh, when they when they released this, they put a preview of Live in Leipzig, even if it took a little while to actually get out to get out to the general public. Uh, like I said, the first version was a fan club exclusive. Uh, I'm pretty sure. But, um, yeah, um, this isn't as different as the vinyl version, although the vinyl version doesn't have the tracks on side B that, it, that this original version does. Um, but, uh, yeah, just really, really cool. Uh, again, not going to do a review on this particular version, but I will do a comparison video of this version versus the uh, vinyl re-release slash remaster. Um, but uh, yeah, just super excited to finally get my hands on this. Also, it did come with uh, um, a little, oops, sorry, it's, it was all, uh, it's all faded and crunkled up because it, it was in the actual case itself, but a little like flyer for their Peter fucking Armageddon demo. Um, but, uh, anyway, so that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time.